Merry Christmas, everybody! Have your Christmas all finished for your side? Don't worry, Christmas lasts till January 2nd, okay? We're going to go into the new year and thank you all so much. This is the last show for the year 2020 and I'm very grateful to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching me on this channel right now, I'm really grateful to you. We grew in leaps and bounds and that's only because you have stuck with me. Thank you so much. We're grateful to God for his mercies. I love you all so much. It's time for you to go call your friends, families and everybody. We still have Christmas recipes to prepare. Yeah, I'm making chicken kebab, yogurt, puff puff, yogurt parfait. You need to see all that. Call everybody, it's time. Alright guys, so for my chicken kebab today, we are, um, we are using chicken breast, of course it's chicken kebab. And I have red, yellow, green pepper, onions powder, garlic powder, curry powder, ginger powder, black pepper powder, rosemary leaves and of course onions. Um, to put all of this together, we'll be using oil as well, so okay? It's quite easy, I'll be cooking it in the oven today, that's why my oven is already on and ticking. So it's quite easy. I'll start by slicing this chicken into chunks. Okay guys, so I have cut my chicken into chunks, yeah, so I'll be adding black pepper, onion powder, <laughs> ginger powder, garlic powder, some rosemary leaves and curry powder and then I'll sprinkle a little salt, that is if you want to because I already have the chicken seasoning powder in it. So massage this thing and work it in and after doing all of this you can allow it rest for at least an hour to the next day but if you do not have time you can just continue all you need to do now is just allow it rest for a few minutes I'm just going to cover it with a kitchen cling film just for a few few minutes while I work on the peppers okay so chicken aside I'll quickly start working on my peppers Okay, so you're just going to remove the seeds from the pepper. Alright, so we'll cut them into chunks, not tiny chunks. That's good. So, in 2021, these are not the kind of onions you want to see in 2021. You know, 2021 would be a good year for onions. Cut our onions into large chunks like this, then separate them. This is what we need. I'm going to bring back my chicken and we'll begin to skew them, pass them through that stick. Or if you have the um, iron skewer, it's okay. Okay, so I bring my chicken back and we begin to skew it all right so i'll start skewing in no particular order and your chicken so like i said no particular order just anyhow you want it, you arrange it. Kebabs can be very, very beautiful on your table. And this season, you're going to have visitors. So, you should be sure to dazzle them with something this beautiful. Yeah, so this is beautiful. I'll just lay them. I already brought out a rack. I'm just going to put a paper. I want it to stick. Okay, that's good. I'll continue. No particular other. Alright guys, this is so pretty. It's so pretty but we cannot eat it like this. We have to cook it in the oven and this my rack is quite small so I'm going to transfer it to another rack. Ok, 
Okay. But just before it goes in, I am going to baste it with oil. I'm going to take the oil and just baste the chicken with it. Now, if you do not want to do this in an oven, you can also do it in your grill pan. You can do it in your charcoal grill. You can do it in your grill pan, but I'm using the oven today. So this is good. Now to save the colors of this my peppers, I'm going to take foil paper, aluminum foil, to cover it. Um, after like 10 minutes, I'll turn it. Um, this should not take more than 30 minutes to cook, between 20, 25, 30 minutes, depends on the heat. But I'll cover it first, then um, the last, let's say seven, to 10 minutes, I'll open it up so that I can save the colors of the same um, peppers in the kebab. We want that beautiful color. All right, so here we go. I've not done anything too fancy, but it's fancy, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna take this to my oven now. Okay, so I'm going to allow this cook for about 30 minutes, but when it's up, um, between 15 to 20, I'm going to come check it, turn the other side to cook, probably remove the foil and allow it to finish up um, very well. It will be cooking with um, 200 degree heat. All right, so now we have the kebab. It's time for us to make what we use to eat the kebab. So for this our jollof rice today, I'll be using jollof mix. I'll be using 800 gram rice. I have meat stock for it as well. I'm going to garnish with some vegetables. Then I like to season my oil with salt. I'll add some salt. Then I'll be using three sachets of jollof mix. So I'll just put the jollof mix into the oil. I'm going to stay on that and allow it cook for four minutes. So while it's cooking for four minutes, it's time for me to wash my rice. Now, if you want to parboil your rice, it's fine. If you do not want to parboil your rice, it's okay. That depends on the kind of rice you are using. All right. So for this, I'm just going to wash without parboiling. Okay, so rice is washed and I'll just quickly stir on this. Okay, it's four minutes already. I'll stir on it, looks good. Looks good. And I'm going to add the meat stock. I'm using um, goat's meat stock today. You can use any stock you want. If you don't even want to use stock, it's fine. You can just use water and your seasoning. Now, for the water or the stock you're going to use, the amount. It depends on the kind of rice. Some um, rice cooks faster like basmati rice, some takes more time, so you just know the kind of rice. And just add the right amount of water for it. All right, so I'm going to stir on this and I'm going to season it. So I'll add the seasoning powder now. Stir. You need to taste it, so adjust your taste. Wow, this is good. I don't need to put anything again. So I'll allow it come to a rolling boil and immediately it does that, I'll add the rice. Okay, so it has come to that rolling boil and I'll just quickly add the rice. So I'll pour the rice into the pot, into the pot of jollof mix, chicken stock, and some water. So I'm gonna stir on it, gentle stir. Now, there's this trick, if you do not want to add so much water to your rice while it's cooking, cover it with a foil. It helps all the time. Traps in that heat, does not allow the moisture to evaporate quickly. So you just cover it with a foil and So just before I start with the yogurt puff puff, I decided to check on my rice. 
I've been cooking it on low heat. So for my yogurt puff puff, I'll be using flour about um, two cups. So two cups of sieved flour. Well, let me just say two and a half cups. I'll take a half cup. I told you, you don't need yeast for this recipe. This is the fastest puff puff recipe. And very, very nice, very nice. I'm going to open that up. Sugar, I always say to your taste, but let me just take half cup of sugar here. That's half cup sugar. Three teaspoons of baking powder. You could make that four. And my yogurt is one cup yogurt. I'm using coconut syrup. Just about one tablespoon. I'm going to add half cup of water. Stir it till I get the texture I'm looking for. So I'll add another half cup of water again. So that's about one cup water. Before I start frying it, I'm going to mix it with my hand. So you just need to do the mix, 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 mix. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just it. Your yogurt puff puff. Just yogurt, flour, sugar, any of your essence or flavors. You can use vanilla, but I'm using coconut syrup today to just give it that coconutty taste and um, aroma. So I'll just add some oil to my pot. And because for puff puff, you have to deep fry it, so you have to use a generous amount of oil. All right, so that is good. So I'm going to light up my cooker now, allow that oil heat up. Come back here, I told you I'm going to work it with my hands. Um, I've already um, checked that chicken is doing really well. In five minutes, chicken should be ready. Okay, so I'm going to wok this dough. This is it. So easy, you don't need to wait for the yeast to rise. There's no yeast in this. Okay, this oil is hot now. I begin to put the dough. Okay, I think that's good for now. So it is beautiful, very beautiful. So if you have visitors this season, don't fret. You can just make them a quick puff puff as long as you have flour, yogurt, any fragrance or flavor of your choice. And um, what else? Sugar, yeah, sugar. And I know a lot of you will come to the comment section now and ask what kind of yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt at the moment. Um, I think Greek yogurt gives it more body, kind of creamy. So, but you can use any any yogurt. You can even use sweetened yogurt. If you use sweetened yogurt, that means you are just going to adjust your sugar or no sugar at all. But this is so lovely. So, I'll allow it fry and get a paper towel, line a plate with that, and transfer it. But this looks really good already. Like very very good. Okay, so I'm just turning it for the other side to cook. We're looking for that golden brown. It's ready and I'm just going to remove it. I have um, tissue here, a paper towel, depending on what you have. And here we go. This is my yogurt puff puff. And this is our puff puff, our yogurt puff puff. It's really yum. The little coconut hint is there. The creamy yogurt is there. It's really nice. Okay, so um, before I start making the yogurt parfait, I just thought that it would be nice to add some veggies to my jello fries. Yeah, so I'll be adding the veggies on top. I just put some oil into the frying pan and a little bit of salt to season it. I'll add the frozen vegetables now. So you just stir on it. 
you know it's actually already pre-cooked so you don't need to cook it too much a minute or two in a heated pan is just fine so last year Christmas I had this recipe very handy in my kitchen so what I use is very simple the beauty of this is just how you assemble it for color Christmassy color I start with the syrup the next thing that goes in is my yogurt now that's beautiful I'm adding the kiwi I'm adding the strawberry and I'm adding some blueberries now I'm going to add granola on it now this is top -out granola so more yogurt on top this is so beautiful I'll drizzle a little bit of that syrup that's just fine the fruits the strawberry blueberries and that's it, a very beautiful cup of yogurt parfait. You will love this if you are served this. And if you actually serve this as well, your guests will love it. It's really very beautiful. So I have a guest today from the Foodies and Spies Foodaholics team on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, she's here today to end the 2020 Foodies and Spies studio shoot. Yeah, um, it's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Thank you all so much for joining me every week on Foodies and Spice, the various channels that you watch me on. Thank you so much, we are really, really grateful. All right, guys, so my guest is here. My guest is Mrs. I did declare Rosalind. Rosalind, it's nice to have you in our Foodaholics kitchen, Foodies and Spice kitchen. How is this jollof rice? Wow, the jollof rice is so nice and so yummy. Are you sure? Yes. We are just saying it because it's... No, it's nice. Even the chicken is... Delicious. Okay, I know you were not here when I started cooking. Yes. This jollof rice was made with jollof mix. Wow. I didn't buy tomatoes, mm -hmm. I didn't buy pepper, I did not buy onions. Okay. Just the jollof mix paste that I fried and I added the rice and the um, meat water. That's the stock. And that's it's, it. It's really nice. I'm it's telling nice. you. It's I'm nice. telling you. It's really a, re a recipe someone can try for this Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's quite affordable. And the chicken. Mm. It's well spiced. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. 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 If you actually eat the chicken alongside with the vegetables, it's actually very balanced. Okay. Very balanced. Okay, you already pulled your chicken, right? I pulled it out. Mm -hmm. well, this is nice. With chicken kebab. What else do you want to try on this table? I think I need to try the coco. You should. Wow, the inside is so fluffy. Yeah. And nice. Yeah, that's our our no yeast puff puff. Wow. The yogurt puff puff. You see, it's fluffy, it's nice, it's creamy, it's very, very it's sweet. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's amazing. This is nice. It's a recipe I need to try. It. Yeah, it's just nice. yogurt, flour, sugar, and any flavor at all you want. Then the baking powder. Here we are. Let's try. Okay. This. Now we try our yogurt parfait. Have you ever tried yogurt parfait before? No. First time. Yes. You will love it. Wow. Try it and let me know. No, you have to dig in okay. and bring it from the down up. Wow. That's the best way to enjoy it. Wow. <laughs> it's really amazing. Yeah, that's how I wow my guests. Wow. Every wow. time they visit me. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so, for meeting you too. Thanks my for pleasure. the opportunity. My pleasure. I really appreciate it and I really enjoyed myself. Thank you so much. Alright. Guys, thank you all so much for sticking with us throughout the year. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now if you're watching. I really appreciate that. I have more recipes coming 2021. Let's do this again. I love you all so much. And I wish you a very, very happy new year. A blessed new year. See you next year. Thank you for watching. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipe.